Painting landscapes now, when there's been a kind of incredible technological revolution, I think is equally as important as perhaps landscape was to the Norwich School painters in the time of industrialisation. A lot of the landscapes they, they depict, country lanes and bits of rivers and woodland, it hasn't really changed. Artists today are working with different new media, but actually so were the Norwich artists, kicking against the classical tradition. I think we should recognise the originality of the Norwich artists as, it, as they were in their, in their own day. The Norwich Society was really quite distinctive at the time. It was the first and certainly I think the most important um, regionally based art group uh, to be founded in this country. Everybody tends to focus on Chrome and Cotman, but there were some wonderful painters among the next generation. A rather original artist was George Vincent, who builds his compositions around the clouds as much as the incidents of the, of the landscape. Joseph Stannard was another marvellous painter. He had that wonderful limpid treatment of light. One of my favourite Norwich school pictures is the Thorpe Water Frolic uh, that he painted of one of these water festivals. A dance of ships with barges and yachts. Another artist who was a leading pupil of John Crome was James Stark. And James Stark is notable for very celebratory landscapes. The Norwich painters were painting at a time when ideas about landscape were changing. In the 18th century, there had been a preference for rather high-minded, rather idealised landscapes, or what were often called historic landscapes, where the landscape is the background to some kind of story that would probably come from literature or history or mythology. By the beginning of the 19th century, there was increasingly a feeling that you didn't need all this history, you didn't need all these stories. The story was actually the landscape itself and that the uh, movement of clouds or light, that had its own drama, that had its own significance. That is something that the Norwich painters understood very well. I think the thing that comes across most from the Norwich school is the Focus on the everyday. These little moments which suddenly take on an eternal sense of nature, which is squeezed out of these little ideas made real. Without there being any kind of sublime features in the landscape or a huge mountain in the distance, it strikes me that the interest is in this whole spread of sort of tiny details. The focus not on sentiment, but the relationship that we have with the landscape. But there's such energy in them, it's just amazing, and the brush strokes and the marks. There's just real beauty there.